Hey everyone, how y'all doing today? So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add the Play Store to your Fire TV tablet. It doesn't come installed on the Fire TV tab because Amazon wants you to use their store instead. So the first thing you want to do before you do anything else is you want to go to the settings. And then you want to go to security. And then you want to check the box that says apps from unknown sources. It's going to ask you, do you want to do this? It's going to pop up that warning, say OK. And then you want to go back, home, and you're going to download these things in this order. So first you're going to do is the account manager. And whatever version is there, you just want to click the download button and download it. OK. Then after you're finished downloading that file, you want to go to your docs. And then you want to go to your download folder. And then there's the file right there that you downloaded. You want to click on that one and you want to say next, install. Now these things you're doing, you have to do it in this order. You have to do it in this particular order for this whole thing to work. So now that that one is installed, you said done. And you want to switch back over here, go back, back again, and then go to the next one on the list. Go down, download APK, click OK, and click open, next, install, that's done, click back, back again, the third one, stroll down, download APK, OK. Now there's a little dim thing down here, you can click open. If that's not there, then that's when you go to the doc folder and then you just hit the download folder and then you download it from there but it's very important like I said to install it in these steps so don't try to go through and get it out of order and my thing is I would actually download and install instead of trying to download all four files at the same time and then try to figure out which one is first and which one is last so right here it says done or open you just want to click done don't open anything yet. Then you want to get back, back, and then you want to do the last one on the list. Stroll down, download APK. Okay. See that open thing went away, it went down, so I missed it. So this is when you want to go to the folder. So when you get here, you want to go to the one with the last time and date. So right here it says February 15, 2019 at 2024, which is 824. So I want to click that one because that's the last one that got downloaded. Click next, next, install. And each one of these is going to take a different set of time to install. So you just got to be patient while it's doing the installation. So right now it says done. So you want to click done. And now that you completed all four installation and right here, it shows you all four files. Now, if you want to actually download all four files at the same time, just keep a note of the time. So you can install them in the right order that they need to be installed. So right now what you want to do is you want to go out, hold the power button down. And then you want to do a power off. So basically you're shutting down the device and then you're just going to start it back up. So once you complete the reboot, then the Play Store is going to be an icon just like on your Android phone or another Android tablet, you'll see the Play Store icon. So now that we're back at the lock screen, so all you have to do is do the unlock and you can stroll down and you should be able to see the Play Store icon. There it is right there. You just give it this time to check the info, you know, as far as your service. And then all you have to do right now is sign in. So after you sign in, it's going to check your information to make sure you're the right person that's assigned to that account. And then boom, there it is, the Play Store that easy so now from the Play Store you can download any apps that you want because I'm liking some apps that I would like to put on this actual tablet you know you got your U lights that I use and then uh, some games that I like to play that's not available on the Amazon App Store so there you have it you see so now I can download apps from the Google Play Store look I'm just downloading Candy Crush to show you that it actually works so, so far, a lot of the apps that I like to play, you know, I'm not really a Candy Crush kind of person, but I do like the Solitaire Grand Harvest. That's one of my favorite solitary game on the, uh, on the Play Store. So, I do like that app right there. So, I'm glad I can be able to install that. 
you know there's my dark media so now I can install my dark media and watch all my movies and stuff that I like to watch okay so there it is all you got to do is follow those steps now once you finish all of that and everything is working please go back to your security and privacy and then turn this off because you don't want apps to be installed without your permission or your knowledge so turn that off and then you know you can have that comfort level that nothing is being installed without your permission now I know I said in the video when I first introduced this tablet that I purchased that I'm gonna do two videos one with the Play Store install and another one with the ads removed now the Play Store is a four-step process well actually it's a five-step process but it's pretty much easy to do now actually taking off the ads is a little bit more technical so me being a programmer I know how to do all that technical stuff it's not a bother for me but it's not gonna be as easy for everybody else so there is an option Amazon does give you the option to pay them $15 to actually remove those ads permanently and it's a one-time fee so it's not like you gotta keep on paying it every year or every month or whatever a one-time $15 fee that's the easy way to do it because the technical way is a little bit challenging in a way and if you mess it up and you do the wrong thing you could disable your tablet from working again so that's what I would recommend also I heard that you know even if you do it the technical way instead of paying the $15 Amazon probably push out an update and re-enable the ads I don't know if that's even worth you going to that I personally think just pay the 15 bucks remove the ads or if the ads not bothering you just ignore them I mean that's what I do they pop up yeah but I just click that I mean the ads only pop up when you are actually having the tablet at rest so they're not bothering you when you're actually using the tablet the ads only gonna be there when you unlock the screen from not using it and it's just been sitting there okay so that's gonna be it for this video as you can see the steps to install that Play Store on your Fire TV tablet is pretty simple you go to the settings unknown sources download each one of those links in order and make sure you install them in that order once you complete reboot your tablet click on the Play Store link sign in go to the steps and then once you complete that you'll be on the Play Store download a couple free apps to see if it's working and before you forget go back into settings and then turn off the unknown sources okay so that's it this is Char the Tech Guy and I'm Char have a good one and I'll see you next time